Blessings and peace, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Brother Williams coming to you once again with another message from the Word of God. And the uh, subject of this message is simply called Power Belongs to God. You know, as believers in Christ, the Holy Word of God should be our only source. It should be the only thing that we turn to for guidance, for strength, for comfort, um, for instruction. But sadly today it seems that some uh, among the body of Christ have laid aside the word of God and have taken matters into their own hands because of emotions, because uh, of their own personal feelings. Well, brothers and sisters, when we become children of God, we give up our rights. Paul said, I am a prisoner of Christ. I'm not my own. So does that mean anything to any, anyone in the body of Christ? I mean, do we just pick and choose the word of God uh, how we want it? Do we go to our churches on Saturday or Sunday or whatever day you, you, you observe? To hear the preacher just to preach a, a wonderful message? Or do we actually take the word of God as truth for us as his followers to live by? You know, there's a lot happening in our world today. And uh, it is unfortunate, but it is happening because the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. And then he says that Satan has blinded the minds of those who believe not. Now, if your mind is blinded and you are going the way of the world concerning these matters and things that are happening in the earth, then you say that you are a born again believer, but then your mind has been blinded. Because, as I've said before, you haven't changed your form of thinking. As the Word of God declares plainly, if any man be in New, in, in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Then he said again to uh, be not conformed to this world, but to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let's go into the word of God today, brothers and sisters. As I stated, the subject of this message is power belongs to God. And as we read in the book of Psalms, 62, 7 through 12, and I'll be reading from the New English Translation. You can read it in the King James in your leisure, if you like. Psalm 62, beginning at verse 7, God delivers me and exalts me. God is my strong protector and my shelter. Here the psalmist declares, it is God who delivers me. It is God who exalts me. It is God that is my strong protector and my shelter. This is putting total confidence and reliability upon God. Not upon ourselves, not upon any man, but only in God. Is that your proclamation? brothers and sisters in Christ? Are you totally trusting in God? Or are you putting God on the back burner and deciding for yourself? Then he goes on to say in verse 8, Trust in Him at all times, you people. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Not sometimes, not when it's convenient, not when you think you can handle it. But he said, trust in the Lord at all times. Not when you feel like you're being persecuted or ill-treated. He said, but trust in God at all times. All times trust in him. And then he said, pour out your hearts before him. Pour out your hearts before him. See, when we have total trust, that means confidence. When we cling to the Lord, 
among above all else, when we cling to the Lord, he will be our defense. He will be our refuge. Then he said, pour out your hearts before him, all ye people. Pour out your hearts. What does that mean? Go to the Lord in prayer. Pour it out to the Lord. Give it all to the Lord. Lord, you see what's going on here in the world today, Father. You see what's going on here in America. Lord, we come before you. We pray unto you, Lord God. We call out to you. You know, the Bible tells us that when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they were treated harshly by the Pharaoh. They were uh, commanded to make bricks. And then when Moses came to deliver them, uh, Pharaoh got uh, even uh, more upset and he doubled their labor. So they had to make uh, bricks without straws and they had to go out and get it themselves. So their labor was, 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 was double. I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters in Christ, when you trust in God, it's going to get hard. But can you persevere? Can you go through the fire? Oh, yes, yeah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What a wonderful story that some of us take it. But it was an event that happened. But we can read it in the Word of God and say, oh, man, that was so wonderful. They, they, they went through the fire. Do you think that they were not shaken in some way? Do you, because, I mean, they said if God, our God can deliver us. But if he don't, we won't serve you. We won't bow down before you. Can you say that today, brothers and sisters? I mean, I, you know, it's kind of doubtful that many can because I see. So anyway, it says to pour out your heart before God. But God heard their cries. He heard the cries of, the, uh, uh, of, of, of his people, Israel, the Hebrews. He heard their cries and he sent a deliverer. Brothers and sisters, we're going to have to endure until the end. This is what Jesus said in the word of God. Blessed is he that endures until the end. Blessed is he that endures until the end. Jesus said in the book of Revelation, I believe, he said to take heed that no man uh, steal your crown. He said, I will keep you in the hour of temptation that will come upon all the world to try them. All the world to try them. Now, the, the, we expect that the world will give in to this testing. The world will fail this test. But will you fail this test, brothers and sisters in Christ? He goes on to say, in verse 9, Listen, men are nothing but a mere breath. Human beings are unreliable. When they are weighed in the scales, all of them together are lighter than air. Men are nothing but mere breath. Human beings are unreliable. But yet and still, many have placed their trust in human beings. What am I saying? Well, the word of God tells us as Christians how we should live in this world. But many are living opposite of that. Because they have believed the words of CNN. They have believed the words of MSNBC. They have believed the words of CBS, ABC, uh, and, and all the rest of the propaganda media. The media that has been bought and paid for. They have believed their words and accepted what they are saying. But have rejected what Jesus taught us, what Jesus taught us as being followers of his. Continue on. Do not trust in what you can gain by oppression. Do not trust in what you can gain by oppression. Do not put false confidence in what you can gain by robbery. If wealth increases, do not become attached to it. God has given us strong warnings. If wealth increases, do not put your trust in it. Do not become attached to it. Many in the body of Christ, because they have increased in wealth, because they have increased in merchandise, in things, they have started businesses and things are booming. But the Lord said, yet and still, don't put your trust in that. Don't put your confidence in that. Don't become attached to that. Because another scripture says that riches 
makes themselves as wings and they do fly away. So the Lord doesn't want us to put confidence in these earthly things. Our confidence and our trust should only be in him. He goes on to say in verse 11, God has declared one principle. Two principles have I heard. God is strong. Amen. Now the King James says that God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God. Who does it belong to? It belongs to God. All power, all authority, everything is subject to the Lord God Almighty. Power belongs to God. Get that in your spirit, brothers and sisters. Stop fighting a battle that you cannot win. Stop trying to make uh, the earth a, a utopia that it would never become until Jesus Christ comes and sets up his kingdom upon this earth. Power belongs to God. I've heard it once and twice. God has spoken. Power belongs to God. The Bible says that in the mouths of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So here God is telling us, I'm saying it one time. I set forth the principle once. I've set forth the principle twice. God is strong. Power belongs to God. So God is letting you know our trust should be only in him. If we're trusting in man, if we're counting on man, if we're listening to the lies and the hatred that is being spewed out by men, men in authority, and we have rejected the counsel of God, woe be unto us. And he goes on to say in the last verse, and you, O Lord, demonstrates loyal love. Only God is faithful. For you repay men for what they do. Only you, O Lord, amen, demonstrate loyal love. For you will repay men for what they they do. The King James says, Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. See, we don't know how to demonstrate the fullness of mercy. We still will hold grudges. We still will uh, remember an offense against us by someone else but only God is perfect in mercy per perfect in love he's the only one so we can't boast in ourselves no matter how much uh, we think that we know no matter how many degrees we think uh, we have behind our name no matter what institutions and, and, and uh, schools of biblical learning that we may have went to it doesn't impress the Lord God is the only one who is perfect in mercy, perfect in love. And then he said, you will reward every man or you will repay every man for what they do. The Lord is going to pay for the good that men do. They will receive payment. And for the bad that men do, they will receive payment. While we're trying to make things right upon this earth and, time, and trying to recompense to men with, for what they've done to us, we have transgressed the word of God because God said in his word, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So brothers and sisters, I've delivered to you the word of the Lord. Will you heed the word of God or will you continue to close your eyes Will you continue to allow the God of this world, Satan, the dragon, that serpent, will you continue to allow him to blind your eyes and willfully close your eyes to the truth? The choice is yours. Until next time.